name a couple songs from 2000, <laughs> and I need you to I almost let me up. know I'm how you kidding. feel. I almost looked these up last night. <laughs> I made a playlist, but then I found out, like, I figured that I was going to be up jamming all night and never getting any sleep. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to do I can see you definitely just dancing by the water all <laughs> night. <laughs> to, yeah. let's say, uh, I mean, Miss Jackson, obviously. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think Cisco was on here. Mm -hmm. Ride with me. Come on, Nelly. I mean, come on. You know I love Nelly. That's your jam. That's your jam. So fashion, so clean. So I, I feel like Outcast in 2000. That was like it was huge. That was their year, right? Yeah. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. That was big back in the day. Um. I like how these are all like rap songs so far. Yeah, though. so well, I put rap songs in just because. Okay, that Destiny's Child was big. Oh yes, you know what I mean. This isn't that. Wasn't it? Wasn't this a time too when Eminem was like yeah. up and coming? Oh yes, as well. Let's just do two thousand songs. And then wasn't there the also that song about um, banging? Right, you and me, baby, yeah. ain't nothing, nothing but rabbits. So let's do it like we do. Channel. I remember. Oh, being mammals. A, sorry, not mammals. rabbits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you say rabbits? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, it's more appropriate. This is a rhyme, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's my life, Bon Jovi. Oh you remember my, that? it's my Mine life is now. That's a karaoke song. Yeah. One hundred percent. Oh, white dude singing that song in a dive bar. It's gonna be me in sync. Oh. I did not. Associate old that ramen with noodle head, huh? Old ramen noodle head. Uh, it's yeah. It's gonna be me. Wait, so let me ask you this: between InSync and Backstreet Boys, because every girl had picked, they were favored one. InSync. InSync was yours. Mine was Backstreet Boys. So really, um, yeah. Back I streets back. back. All right. I was just introduced to them first, and my sister liked InSync. So with her and I, we were very competitive about everything. Yeah. So that worked out well because we didn't fight over who we were going to marry. You know oh, perfect! I mean? <laughs> you so guys had different. Do you so guys have stupid. different types? Um. Oh, one hundred percent. I like. That's good. It's good with friends too, don't you think? Oh, I, you have to have a different. I agree. Type or else it's like. I completely agree. And actually, married. when I think about it, all of me and like my best friends all have very different types. I think it's. I think including it's necessary. even my yeah, both all both my sisters because I like the big macho like you know guys rough and tough yeah and my sister who's just what a year and a half younger than me likes the uh, you know like skinny jeans okay. like guy who takes care of himself probably like take, like has better style and clothing than her more almost. product oh, more hair product yeah. than her the, the more product the better you know perfect <laughs> yeah. perfect um yeah those all those songs were like those, that was my thing. Who let the dogs out? Oh, <laughs> do you see my. that meme? Wait, is it Shaggy meme? too. Was this now? We're getting like back though. I think this is even further. Like this is at the beginning of. This is two thousand. So if we were like in the year two thousand, yeah, we're going back, back though. Shape You're of my heart. Fly. Shape of my heart by your by your boys. Oh yeah, I was like, what do you mean? I went. That was like one of my first major concerts. Was the Backstreet Boys Millennium Tour. Oh. Yeah, my neighbor gave me like <laughs> tickets for babysitting for them all the time. Yeah, and Brian, Brian was my crush back then. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen them now? Seen what? Any of these boy bands all grown up besides Justin Timberlake? You know, um cuz Backstreet Boys apparently got back together. They did and they're like touring, right? They yeah, don't look bad. I mean, I, I have agree to say. But I have to admit that like young Tiffany, I felt like it was so brainwashed into loving them and being so obsessed with them that now as an adult I see them for who they like really are instead right. of the fame boy band obsession thing. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, eh, <laughs> meh, meh. They're just dads, <laughs> right? Like they're all just fucking dads now, normal guys, yeah. right? And Brian is weird as fuck. I saw him on the Andy Cohen show. <laughs> On the Watch What Happens Live. He's yeah. weird as shit. Like he Why kept, is he weird? What do dude, you do? he grabbed like Andy Cohen's like uh like stuffed dog. Like you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like the little stuffed yeah, animal yeah. and was like petting it and having it do things to the guys like lick them and stuff during I'm like are you fucking on drugs here's the dirty secret about Andy Cohen and how he gets such a weird show so he has them come 
think it's like two hours early has them start drinking start drinking an hour before the show so they're yeah. kind of waiting and i think he like keeps kind of telling them like oh we're about to start whatever just have a drink hang out then the guests come there's like people hanging out you bring your family your friends and so he gets them like super comfortable and drunk liquored and it's brilliant yes it is because you'll get you'll get old weirdo brian that was strange if you and can't he kept making random it, comments yeah. and the guys sometimes were like looking at him like the one that i actually liked now is howie it was howie or aj was one of the ones i was like oh i like you were in the back like i never, never looked, thought of you never thought of you but now you seem the most normal you seem funny and you're actually cuter than the rest of the guys now yeah so Isn't i don't funny know how I, that changes it is but even seeing lance bass on yeah. Vanderpump pump rules yeah i was like oh i remember i thought you were so much cuter back then and then like, like i'm not saying he's not cute now because yeah but it's still it's a different he's just it's different, different. It's different. It's all different. Same thing with uh, what's what's the big one that all the older ladies love? New Kids on the Block. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the older ladies. I don't think I can. <laughs> well, when you think about it, mm -hmm. oh, there's a lot of like ladies in their 40s or 50s, I feel like, who are obsessed with them and still go to their concerts yeah. or even older. They're, they're back together, and too. And I would say like kind of older because my mom's about to be 60 and she's like, don't you dare call me old. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So a little bit older than me. Um. Donnie. Yeah. That's Backstreet Boys, right? No, that's New Kids on the Block. Donnie Wahlberg. New Kids on the Block. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, they're full on back together. They're I know. They're full on touring. Um, Does that ever make you wonder? About? That, you know, they had, they, I feel like a lot of these guys rose to like fame very quickly. Yeah. Because of the like teenage obsession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, of what they were. And they had what, a good run of like maybe five or plus years or more yeah. of like this stardom. Yeah. And then their lives kind of, it faded, mm -hmm. you know, it fizzled out. Um, Donnie's been doing shit. And now they're kind of like straight. back at it, which then par part of you want, like makes me think at least that like, man, do you guys really miss it that much? Or is it, this is like all you guys, you guys want to li be living in the past. You know um, what I mean? Or you I guys think, see an opportunity. I think the money was, I think they backed up. Yeah the truck okay because they knew women of that age certain age would like would still be come of out it. and they could make a shit ton of money so okay. i think they all were just like all right but what i'm saying is like down. when you think about it besides donnie like everyone else didn't really have like you never heard of them doing anything no. same thing with all the backstreet boys and for the most part like did. insane except for excuse me justin timberlake yeah right so yeah. like part of me thinks that those guys would be like yeah yeah like i can be something again in the spotlight yeah you know what i'm saying yeah yeah a little bit um if you're used to it they it, it would be tragic if they weren't fucking raking it in and and Correct. so many people were coming to see them it'd be tragic if they were playing to like half full you know arenas like they yeah, are fucking like selling trying. out like okay well then that's huge, a good thing but Again, like well, it just, could you know, be, yeah, exactly. Wonder, it would be tragic. It seems if like they a lot of fucking killing it. It seems like a lot of bands are getting back together. Ooh, like you know what I mean? Well, even yeah. like uh, Candy Burris and her, what they like escape or no? That's tragic. That to me, and there's that's nobody. What I was talking about there's a no. Bit. They're playing very very small venues and they're not full. Because I remember seeing that on the show. So that. And thinking to myself, it's like, a perfect example of the okay. difference. That's what I'm saying. Is to me like, Candy's crushing it in so many different ways right. in life. But those other girls, I feel like we're like, come on, we got to do this because it's yeah. all I got right now. So what I think what happened was Candy was on that show and then got fame from that, and they're like, all right, well, like people will come because it used to be Tiny and T, mm -hmm. Ti, but mm -hmm. that fizzled out. Mm. You know what I mean? I feel like there's some. And this is might just be me. I feel like there are some, you know, celebrities out there who had that stardom and fame and it was so big at some point in time yeah. and then it fizzled and I feel like they've been trying to just like kind of catch it and just keep it throughout. Oh, something so tragic. About and that. stay alive. Yeah. Like Nicole Scherzinger. Scherzinger. Yeah. To me, like Pussycat Dolls was like very popular. For She's a few really years. done a lot with she nothing has, though. Like <laughs> that's what I'm she, saying. Yeah, yeah. Like she had she didn't really have that much uh, talent she was just like real she was the lead and, like, singer slash yeah. the hottest one and, like, yeah. you know what i mean the mouthpiece for the group and then that of course like it fizzled 
Yeah. And then I feel like she's just been trying to do like, oh, a hosting thing or, yeah. you know, like good on her. But I'm just saying. Right. Yeah. It's like one of those things where it's like, oh, OK. Yeah. And there's definitely a way to do it. Mm-hmm. Like there's definitely a way to be like, let's say like Eddie Better from Pearl Jam, where mm-hmm. it's like there's definitely he was a 90s band. Yeah. Like not even 2000. Like he was, you know what I mean? They were like a grunge era band. And he just kind of like, you know, just kept kind of doing his thing and also was very fucking talented. That's what so. I'm saying, though, as I feel like when I see them and go got from older, like didn't didn't try and not didn't try and like stay young. He's that's like, what I'm saying very. He's like, I'm fucking older now. My hair is gray. Like, yeah. I'm, you know what I mean? And not, not like living in the past. And then at the same time, I feel like if you go from like one thing of being very talented at and then you work towards the next thing and stay talented in that like i have yeah. respect for that but it's the people that i see that kind of the bounce around to anything that they can find like oh i'll take this hosting job yeah. or i'll take this weird gig jenny mccarthy those are the people how to perfect me. that she's with donnie right <laughs> those that's what i'm saying those are the people to like, me that are grasping at everything going like i'll take it i'll take it i'll do it well do the job like you know i'm not saying they're not good at it i'm just saying it seems I mean, to per se, like the epitome, to, to put it very bluntly, kind of um, desperate, desperate, tragic. Um, the but epitome good on them, of that. They're like doing they're still doing their thing. <laughs> I mean, they're I guess they're making money. I mean, we well, know making how much you guarantee can they're make. making more than me. So good. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. But like, we know how much you can make from like hosting gigs. Like, it's not a shit ton. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you live in L.A. So that's, that's all fucking gone true so i don't know do you think that's a weird couple donnie and uh, no i think it's absolutely perfect those do two you? thirsty ass motherfuckers you think he's thirsty i don't, I don't know much about thirsty. i don't know I don't much think about he's him. thirsty i think he's actually hardworking and has been he was like a bigger star than mark Wahlberg, like forever yeah because of and i on think the block. he has more money than him as well oh wow because he did he did a show i think it's blue but blue bloods or some blue blood yeah. some kind of whatever show like that, that, that he was on show. forever that was in syndication like i think he just he killed it at that yeah he was new kids on the block mm-hmm. now he's like doing he's just been he's always been something but that's working. what i'm saying though i feel like it went from like one really good thing yeah to like another like being on you know an actor yeah, on that yeah. show yeah and he's then back to his singing again acting. yeah so no, like i think he's i think he's good he's not bad at anything i've seen videos of him apparently like he has like one of the biggest hearts or something like i know that one of it like during one of his new kids on the block show i think there was like one of his fans that he like recognized yeah and i don't know if she had like cerebral palsy or something but like he came up and like gave her a hug and like something off of him you know what i mean and everyone's like oh my god this is why i love him i like you know that's all i see Mm. so i'm like oh that's sweet of him yeah but I don't, know much, I don't know much about Jenny McCarthy, though. She's just thirsty. She'll do whatever. She'll, like, be on The View for a little bit. She'll host The Masked Singer. She'll do, like, Rockin' New Year's Eve. She'll, she literally will just, like... So Chris and I see her on The Masked Singer. Do whatever. Because we kind of watch that together. Is that a mask that she's wearing? <laughs> she's, she's very pretty. <laughs> she's very I'll pretty. She's very plastic. Is yeah. she? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I will say this is when I looked at her, I'm like, damn, she looks great for her age. And like, her, oh, yeah, I don't know yeah, if she yeah. has wigs, but I'm like, her hair is always like yeah, perfectly yeah. on point, but it's always different. So it reminds me of the Kardashians a little bit where you're like, how do you have such long hair? But then the next day I have short fucking hair. It looks perfect. Right? Yeah. But then again, I'm like, I'm stupid. But then with the Kardashians, I'm like, do they, do they just put in and out extensions, extensions? in like a day? I guess you can do it. A day or two days. Like, like legit extensions? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, I know. I mean, obviously, obviously they have the money to do whatever the fuck they want. I'm just like, God, can you imagine being able to go in and just be like, yeah, take these out and do like tape in for right? a bob. And then like, yeah, like okay, Chloe's hair when she has like, yeah. cute bob. And I'm like, oh, my God, you're rocking that. And then the next day she has these long, beautiful locks. I'm like, what the fuck? How do you look and like And it's this? not a wig. So it's like. That's what I'm saying. It looks very real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're full on extensions. It's just like, dang, are they really doing tape-ins? Could be clip-ins. Fuck, I don't know. Can you imagine having a glam team wake you up? It's the only thing I want. In in the, I know, right? In the morning, and you just be on your phone, and they make you look fucking fantastic every day. It's the only <laughs> thing I want in life. Like, Dory? I could live. Uh, yeah, I could live in a shack, but then have, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I will spend all my money on 
a glam team. I would love that every day. Like Dory because or Erica and fly, have them fly with mm, me everywhere and pick everywhere. out my clothing and just be like, put this on, bitch. Oh, you know, <gasps> they great. really put Erica in some stuff, huh? She loves it though. She loves it, but they really like push it. Like, with do you her. remember that latex outfit the that latex. she wore on that boat? With, with her bangs that were like really hot. Yeah. yeah. I like her in those long t-shirts with her ponies and long like. Yeah. I like her style. I like her style too. It's not just much her age. Yeah. But I like her style. It's much her. It's very. It's, it's that her style. Her for her very, persona. Yeah. Her stylists are very young yeah. and she is super rich. Well, young and gay has guys. nothing to do. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, like this looks good on our age. And they're like, okay. Like. Yeah. I don't know. I know. But I mean, then again, kids grown. Who fucking cares? I watch these shows too. They like live vicariously through them. Cause part of me is like, man, I would love to wear that. Like, and have the confidence just to be like, yeah, I'll fucking rock it. I know. Like at a premiere, have my booty out. Like Erica, like, okay. <laughs> like, you and know, not care that and people are like, care. but she looks huh. fucking fantastic. Doing yeah. It. She really does. You know, um, her hair is always awesome. I know. That's what I'm saying though, too. That one. I can't figure out. I'm like, I guess when you bleach it, like bleach 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 it's easy to hide some shit do you know what i mean i don't know I've no- if it's like i've only accidentally on, bleached my hair once and it was tragic full on bright 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 blonde it's easy to match all kinds of stuff like a, a ponytail of fucking like tapins because you're like just one color see of, like, i feel like bleach bleach oh bleach, i guess bleach, that's blonde. true do you know what i mean i feel like dark hair would be the easiest to match i feel like blonde is kind of hard because you'll you'll see different shades of blonde yeah and then you get blonde extensions and then if you put like purple shampoo in your hair it turns it like a different shade of blonde too and then it might not no longer match your extensions i'm like oh that's a lot where for me like if i have dark brown extensions even if my hair is darker or lighter brown it still goes because it looks like highlights you know what i'm saying yeah no that's like the only thing but yeah, she does have very bleached blonde hair. <laughs> Speaking of talking shit about people. Yeah. So I don't know how if you know how I feel about Chrissy Teigen and if she hears this. No, but I want to hear it, though. Yeah, I mean, if she hears this, it's fine. Um, <laughs> you'll, you'll own it. I'll own it. If she ever comes for me, I'll be like, yes, <laughs> I said that. And yes, like, Please. I hate you. So for s- Chrissy Teigen just rubs me the wrong fucking way that's actually one of the questions on here really has Mm -hmm. for ever oh yeah after the sponsors we're gonna do like a couple questions um like a bunch of random questions to try to get to know you but one of them was like if there's a celebrity who just drives you freaking insane it's chrissy teigen that's there's also some this thing that i hate where models are able models get like a pass on actually being funny where like people are like oh my gosh like She's so pretty. They don't expect her to even do anything. Uh So if she does like a little something, they're like, oh, my God, she's amazing. She is just so quirky. What show was she on where they were interviewing those like comedians? They would have a comedian come up and they'd have the panel with her and like Jeff Foxworthy and Kenan Thompson. I don't know what show it was, but they had comedians. Is it recently or older? No, it was like within the last six months or something i feel like is it that quibby show where she's like a court she's like holding court or no no this oh, okay, is this, okay. by the way this was like a saint like this show sucked oh okay and, <laughs> and so like she was get, she was judging people based upon their you know comedian talents and yeah. I'm, part, part of me is like you're not even fucking funny <laughs> like why are you judging someone on why this? are you a part of this like keenan thompson sure sure Jeff Fox he's a comedian he, sure sure but he's her, a comedian i was like you can't even make funny comments while judging no you know? She's just awful, and she's actually not nice. But peep, and she like wrote. She didn't write a cookbook, but she like did a cookbook with someone else, and was like a New York Times bestseller. Awesome. And like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, uh, and is not like a chef at all. I don't know. That's frustrating for people who are in that you know occupation and yeah. pour their heart into it. And I just find her annoying. I mean, there's just people that you just like find annoying Scarlett right like Johansson I don't know why you find her annoying oh my god love so to annoying. hear it that's so, annoying. so weird I can't watch her in movies I is also don't her... like Marvel movies but it's just is it her voice it's like her is voice it deep, her is it the deep voice with her, like, like the gorgeous face her react like her <laughs> I, it's everything it, it makes me cringe I'm like we're really haters yeah. we're really haters and it's right not now. because I think she's gorgeous 
It's not because of that. Oh, no, no. I think she's Obviously. fucking stunning. And I think her body, like, I'll take her body all day long. Right. It's nothing am- amongst that. It's just, like, her mannerisms and the way she talks. I'm like, oh, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Yeah. So that's Chrissy Teigen. Okay. And I hate how people are just like, I hate people that are like, I'm crazy. I'm quirky. And you, like, aren't. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. or <laughs> that's another pet peeve is, like, couples that are like, just being weird again and all they're doing is like sticking their tongue out yeah they're weird oh we're just a couple of kooks and you're like the most <laughs> boring fucking people of all time don't tell me that you're a kook like yeah. are you guys fucking fighting are you like do you know what i mean like do you go out and fucking party did somebody leave you you know like yeah did he leave you at the bar because whatever i don't know you're not kooky <laughs> you're fucking boring <laughs> and you stick your tongue out in a picture um so anyways <laughs> I think yeah, I'm thinking of something, someone in particular that you know. Okay, but um, so basically, what happened with Chrissy Teigen is there is a food writer that like writes for Bon Appetit. She has best selling like every book she puts out. It's called Dine In, and uh, well, Dine In did really really well, and it was like super successful cookbook. And she's just like. You know, she her whole deal, this girl, Allison Roman, her whole deal is she's just like, she's classically trained. She's a really good chef, but she makes it very casual, kind of like, don't worry about it. Don't freak out about da da da. Like, not trying to take away from food this, like, kind of snobby thing yeah. about it that it has to be, like, French only or all of this fucking yeah. shit. So she's very, like, casual about it. Anyway, she doesn't do, apparently, she doesn't do too many interviews because. <laughs> You know, and we know, yeah, we're learning that like, you know, you don't, you don't just say, you don't name names unless you're willing to back it up. Mm-hmm. Right. And you don't or just ans- like, yeah, answer for it. Answer for it. Like yeah. if you really, you don't name fucking names until you are, unless you are taking a fucking stand with it. Right. Yeah. Like, so she was like, uh, in this interview said like what Chrissy Teigen has done is so crazy to me she had a successful cookbook and then she's like boom line at Target boom now she has an Instagram page that's like a million over a million followers where it's like people running a content farm for her and that horrifies me which is something I would never want to do and said the same basic thing about Marie Kondo which you guys if you've ever watched her show on Netflix it's called tidying up and it was like this movement for a second where like i don't know if you heard people being like if it doesn't bring you joy throw it away like no so she's this sort of minimalist lady that kind of comes into your house and teaches you we were talking about this last show yeah where we were like we kind of don't like to get rid of stuff like it will just sit there for years without us using it because we don't want to like or has some type of nostalgic nostalgic and we like literally cannot throw it away or give it up well she kind of comes into your house and like has you so she wants you to live minimally well she wants you to like not have clutter that stresses you out sure which is like pretty much everyone right like we all have thing that stresses us out is when we walk in and we're like yeah and you know you should i don't need yeah and you don't even bother and you don't because you're like so she's like she has you hold each item so like let's say you were saying you had t-shirts right that have like memories so she has you hold them and like if it doesn't bring you joy if it doesn't spark joy, that was it. Then you throw it away. Everything would spark joy to me. Are you fucking kidding? Really? <laughs> Not everything, but yeah. Most of my t shirts. Probably. Like, you know, probably. like my first concert I went to with my sister, like yeah, a format t shirt doesn't even fit me anymore. I'm keeping. Probably. <laughs> like, I'm keeping it. She would be like, Okay, well, I guess we're not getting bring rid of joy because it brings me good memories. That's that's my biggest issue is because I will hold on to things that have memories for me. Yeah. And those memories bring me joy. Because I have such a shitty memory now. Yeah. I won't think of those things until I see something and go, oh my yeah. God. But you seem kind of organized enough that you could like put those in a place that they're not just like in your fucking face all That's, the time. I, like, yeah. I have still things organized because I'm OCD. So. Right. So it's like you keep stuff, but it's organized, you know. Yeah. Uh, so that was like her whole thing. You know, there was a bunch of memes about sparking joy. Of course. <laughs> like throwing guys away that don't spark joy and all <laughs> yeah. this stuff. So Kids. Yeah. Kids. Yeah, sure, for people. So she got called out by Chrissy Teigen um she so what she said I don't really feel like it was that bad she was just being like you know what I mean it didn't seem like it was dramatic it's it not that like, bad but you're definitely talking shit about someone else in the space that you don't I think she just said know. she wouldn't do what she did yeah she said it horrifies her yeah <laughs> 
like what she has done and she was but she wasn't like putting her down as a person she was just saying like right. the way she did and I, while i get it like she's gonna have to back it up but while she it's just like hey that's not my thing and by the way like that does kind of right horrify me <laughs> right but i think this is a big teachable moment for allison roman because you don't know you 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 have to if you're big enough like this you have to like think about how you're coming off right mm -hmm. which is like maybe if i said that about someone like if i was like you know tiffany like the way she does her instagram it's like i mean it's it horrifies me it was nothing that i would do but yeah. like to each your own you'd be like oh oh what do you mean weird. what do you mean but if you said do that you know I mean? without a name like without name like hey there's people out there who For like sure completely have different instagram she pages, will learn right and yeah. say the same thing with her but Same thing with her. And you can you can do little, you know, Easter eggs of so people may know who they are. Correct, without, without saying, it, saying it. Because if you put someone's name in an interview, you know Chrissy Teigen has a Google alert on her name. Anyways, sure. whatever. She found out about it. It yeah. was like a small article. Like, she would have never seen, right? Yeah. Which is probably what Allison Roman was thinking. Like, I'm just talking to somebody. You know, it's like yes. no one's going to even hear this. And now that it's happened she has to deal with the situation right and, and so that's here's where thing. it gets you can't, like, like ignore it you can't ignore it and this and is where you just go away this is where you decide right like and your reaction can really help you out now to it right mm -hmm. so in my eyes allison roman i didn't even know who she really was i knew her book or whatever yeah but now she's a weenie so this so chrissy Teigen wrote because she's a victim now of course she, she wrote this is a huge bummer and it hit me really hard i've made her recipes for years bought the cookbook supported her on social oh and praised her in interviews i even signed on to executive produce the very show she talked about doing in this article oh my god um so so then allison roman like had to write so she wrote this like big long thing it was never my intention i didn't mean i wasn't saying that you da, da, da. i was just saying a product line doesn't work for me blah 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 like totally backtracking totally not what she was saying i wrote an email but blah, blah 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 so really in this it's a it's a defining moment right which is so fucking crazy but like how you act when you get caught or when when you say something mm -hmm. that in the moment you meant it's not enough to be like or it doesn't it doesn't work she to be like to i don't erase it like oh i never said that you did though but so that's it's where it's right there in writing that's you know where I mean? the integrity comes in and sitting there as an adult and saying okay listen i did say this and while this is still what i believe i shouldn't have been as harsh and you know like, I don't know, something like not giving an excuse, but just be like, hey, I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings with this statement. Even though this is my opinion, I should not have stated it in this manner. Um, and you got to keep I got to keep professional, like something along those lines. Not like, oh, my God, I never said that. Like, I'm so, like type of thing. They're not friends. They don't know each other. So. You just like. I, I think you don't say anything and you maybe message them privately. You could maybe but you know I think you don't know each other you're not friends but here's the issue with the internet nowadays is that the people are going to see chrissy Teigen's reaction mm -hmm. and then when it's silence on her end what's her name uh allison roman allison's you know end then all of a sudden people are gonna be like oh my god does she not care what a fucking bitch like i can't believe she's not responding like they want to see something so again that's when you get like pr involved yeah and say like you know like i take responsibility for what i said yeah i can't take it back you know i'm sorry that it came across that way yeah um it won't happen again the end i guess it's an interesting like thing she should learn that not ha you know what i mean unless she doesn't want to deal with this shit like don't let it happen again exactly unless you're that person that's like yeah that's what you have yeah you put your face on a cookbook nobody even knows what the food is inside yeah and they buy it that's kind of, you know, good for you. And then all of a sudden, from and your that's what face. I'm she could say that, yep. From your face, you get product, cooking product lines at Target. Yeah. Look, it's not easy, but it's a little bit easier for her. You know what well, I mean? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. S 
stay with her stance. She said what she said. She said it horrified don't, her. Did, if don't it backtrack out of it. Exactly. That's Admit the it. weenie move. And you can apologize for the way it came across. Like, I'm yes. sorry I hurt your feelings because, you know, like I'm, what up, you know, you can at least say that maybe. Yeah, but even that is like, why? You know, like, did you, I know, did you not mean to hurt? I mean. Listen, I've said shit before where like I've meant to hurt, like even as a kid. Yeah. Where I meant to hurt these pe- people's feelings. But like what you always had to say is it sounds stupid was I'm sorry for hurting your feelings because that's what they want to hear. When in reality, I was like, I said what I said, though. Yeah. Yeah. So like, while I am sorry that you're hurt, I, ha- I said what I said. And that's, I guess, the biggest thing that you're admitting there. Like, I'm sorry that you're feeling like part of me thinks it's almost like I'm sorry you're sensitive. Your feelings are hurt. Yeah. Which is like the worst way to apologize. But no, but that's but, what yeah. I'm saying. So if you it's kind of like, I'm sorry that you're hurt by this, but. These are my feelings on it. But then again, if she doesn't want to deal with that, don't fucking say anything. She fucking named her name. And that's what I'm saying, though. And said, but again, you're right. It's not actually that bad. It's just a lesson in if you're going to talk shit. It was her opinion. And it happened. And either people record you or you're in an interview or there's a camera on you or a journalist is going to write it like. It happened. Yeah. In that moment, you were talking shit about Chrissy Teigen. Well, that's the thing. She you talked shit about the process take that away. of what yeah. happened with it. She wasn't talking specifically about her. She was just saying, like, this whole process is fucking crazy. Yeah. That, like, you have literally people who are so talented and yeah. cooking who have been working their entire career to get to a place where Chrissy's at. And no offense to Chrissy, but basically right. what she's saying, but, like, she hasn't, she's not, like, the world's greatest cook, but here she is accomplishing what everyone else has been doing. They've yeah. been cooking their entire fucking life. And that to her horrifies her, right? She yes. wasn't saying Chrissy. I think it was like the situation, but of course Chrissy was going to take it personally and play the victim yeah, card. Yeah, and it really worked in her favor to play that victim card. Yeah. I'm although, sure people told her to do that. Although Chrissy Teigen has been a big bully before. Do you remember there was this, there was this like 16-year-old girl. I won't get too into it this show there was this 16 year old girl that married this 55 year old actor blonde chick it was like way back in the day Uh uh-huh uh they did some like celebrity like couple show or something and people were like what the fuck i feel like i know what you're talking about and you're like okay and like it it was really weird um i'll get into it on the next show because i have like tweets that chrissy sent to this girl who was clearly She's come out. This girl has come out now and been like, I was like abused. Like I was I was a 16 year old girl that yeah. married a 55 year old guy. Like I was not I was a child. Yeah. Um, but at the time, Chrissy was like tweeting her like kill yourself. You're <gasps> fucking stupid. Like can't people like you or the fucking what's wrong, blah, 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 blah. Like totally badgering this fucking girl who wrote a book now that she's like older and out of the relationship and like realizing that she was fucking abused sure um but that's like the last thing that you need to hear when you're dealing with abuse so we'll get into you're already feeling so terrible about yourself oh my god well you just don't even know what's going on well, that's right what I'm saying, you no, but, you feel, like, but you know something's not right like you don't yeah. you do- and chrissy teigen this like at the time i think she was just a model or maybe she was just with uh john legend it was a long time ago um so she was just kind of like yeah to hear but the you know the way she was on reality tv so she was out there in the public eye but like for someone like chrissy to be badgering her instead of being like hey guys like this is a child yeah that is with do you need help this is not this is not right this is not normal i don't like i'm not gonna call you names but like this is not okay. Like you need to get out of this relationship. Correct. This is an abusive situation. You are a child. Correct. This is statutory. Helpful. Like, helpful. Not kill yourself. Not stupid slut. The f- okay. Da da da. Oh like God. I'm gonna pull up her tweets for next show. Okay. And that's so sad to me. You know yeah. what I mean? Because that. Uh, you know what? Honestly, that's so the she's difference between. Not, that's the difference between. That could be the difference between life or death, right there for someone. As sad as that sounds. Yeah. That. You don't know what a person's going through. You don't un- you don't know the abuse or the torment that they're going through. Yeah. And for you to say something so harshly at, you know, bullying, cyberbullying, whatever it might be 
take your life like you shouldn't even be alive that could literally push someone over the edge who always may already be contemplating suicide or that their life isn't you know oh yeah good enough that they shouldn't even be here oh yeah so like are you fucking kidding me like every life is precious no matter what like how dare oh my god chrissy teen's a little bit of a a bully so i find it really this oh, is going to be an so... ongoing saga because i'm going to get you to my side and you will oh, I'm not saying her. I'm not on your side. No, I, I just know, don't but know. You're, I'm, I just you're don't, gonna hate. Her. I just don't know enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've seen her on a few things, and yeah. it's kind of like that's eh, whatever. I think there's an ugly underbelly. I think she's sure. been a bully for years, and you know what makes we're me gonna think to it. myself is that maybe she was been bullied over the years when she was younger, and so therefore that's why she's projecting that on everyone else, or she obviously has these some type of major insecurities to feel the need to bully people like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's projection. Yeah. That's how she... She just comes off fucking weird to me. Like, you don't need to be that fucking weird and quirky and, like... Like... You think it's trying trying too hard? Something. Like, putting your husband down constantly. She puts her husband down? In, like, a funny way, but it's like okay where like, people are like oh they're cute oh ha 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 they she just keeps talking shit about her husband like, maybe they're trying to be like oh uh, they're trying that's for damn sure <laughs> they are trying wait but what's his be that, what's something the, what's the guy's name who does fuck the marvel movie deadpool oh ryan reynolds ryan reynolds and blake uh lively yes now they have like a very funny sarcastic relationship it seems like online yes but it's more it's like they're doing it right that's like, what I'm that's saying. That's the way you do it. Is yeah, I yeah. feel like maybe Chrissy and John are trying to do that, but they're doing it in a very awkward way where people yeah. are like, this is strange. I don't yeah. want to see this. Like, like a car crash. It's Whereas, like people that don't know how to do sarcasm and they are liter- they literally just say something mean to you and you're like, Muh. that's not, no, that's not how like, that works. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My sister, when I grew up, she would say something mean and be like, oh, I'm just joking. Like, that's not funny. That's like, not you're how being it works. Serious. Yeah, yeah. That's Whereas not- Ryan Reynolds is hilarious. Him and his wife. Yeah. He'll like put a picture of like just him for her birthday. Yeah. Like, you know, that kind of stuff, Correct. which is funny, and she laughs at it, and then she'll do something back to him, but it's not, like, constant. It's like what you even did with Ross one year, where oh, yeah. I think it was, like, a birthday video tribute or something, and it was, like, just him and Him and Dan. Dan. It was an anniversary. <laughs> anniversary Ma- our anniversary, and I just did a, a video montage <laughs> to Free <laughs> Bird. I must be moving yeah. on now because you just kept leaving. And like, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> they spent like literally the whole fucking year together. The whole year traveling. together, traveling, doing staying sports in events. Hotels, I like, thought it was hilarious. Going to dinners. <laughs> like, I had so many pictures of them just like <laughs> cheersing, like hugging, like on the thing. I'm like, oh, do they even got like pictures taken by that lake when they were like oh. hugging? <laughs> yeah. yeah, back and forth. So <laughs> love to see it. Um, that's funny though. Yeah. Whereas I and feel that's like, not like yeah. I'm not putting him down. It's no, like it's sort funny. of a joke of like, obviously I've got, I've come to terms with it. I'm not like you fucker, you never home. Blah, yeah. blah. But I'm like yeah. making a funny thing of it. Cause it's like, but can you imagine it if you made that job. super weird though? Yeah. And people would be like, huh? My husband's a fucking asshole loser. Ha ha ha. And you're or like, something. And people are like, not, that's not weird, how it feel. works. Like I'm in the middle of a fight that I shouldn't be. Yes. You know, Ooh, yeah. that's a whole episode, huh? <laughs> That is. Right? We should, we I think talk, you put a TikTok thing up of like, yeah, the you're couple. fighting before you go to like something, which happens all the time. So much. And then you're like, just be fucking cool inside. And then you're like, happy with everyone, like, cool, da da da. And then you leave and you're like, you fucking asshole. Yeah. So true. Well, it's it's either that or, or it's, you kind of show you, it. Or you bring it inside and yeah. you fight in front of your fucking friends, which is awkward as shit. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. To me, like growing up, even with my parents and specifically my mom, it w- it's the same thing. We were talking about yesterday at the grocery store. Like, sit down. Yeah. Shut yeah, up. Yeah. Stop grabbing that stuff. Yeah. Oh, hi, Karen. Sure. Hey, how's it going? Like, sure. You know what I mean? Because, and then when Karen would be like, hey, how's it going? My mom would be like, oh, these little shits are just giving yeah, me trouble. Yeah. yeah. yeah now I'm gonna- but that's courteous, right? Like, but that, think- that's what I'm saying. It is. It's like, you don't want to make anyone uncomfortable would tell me be like you don't put your drama and you don't make anyone else feel uncomfortable with your own shit like yeah. leave them out of it it's she's basically like because at first when we give her shit when we we're younger like that's being fake mom and she's like no that's being polite yes that's manners so true right and Love so we got it. used to it because there's there was a few times where i think i don't even know what it was i think it was like my mom's sister or something where they were like hey trace how's it going and she's like not good <laughs> and then it was like, uh, like we all heard and we're like, that's uh, awkward. Yeah. But it was also her sisters too. But it was still one of those things where I was like, oh, 
Okay, I was really hoping you'd just say fine and we yeah, can move and we can on. Move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so what? what is it? So Let's she always get told us, it. just yeah. listen. You always just don't bring your shit on to other people. like Unless it's like, hey, girl, we got to talk. Or like, yeah, but that's it's different. coffee with your friends. Yeah, yeah. But I think... Not that, like, Same. a get-together. I hate the people that, like, really tell you how they are. Like, I really just want you to say fine. Yeah. Or you walk into, a, like, a on. couple's event, and you notice that there's tension, mm. and, like, they're fighting, secret, mm-hmm. like, secretly, and, like, oh, hey, guys. It's like, oh, this is really weird. Please this just, This is really like, weird. I can't. Or in front of you at a dinner table. Ugh. They always do it on the fucking Real Housewife show, and part of me is just, like, how... Do you, do you guys not think to like pull each other aside and be like, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom really quick. You wanna come with me? And then be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like away from everyone, not at yeah. a dinner table. Yeah. I don't know. It's awkward. I know. They have to do it. Their money depends on it. But yeah. you you get a taste That's of like what it's like when people do do that, where you're like, oh my God, I've been there. You know? Yeah. Where you're like, oh. Because traditionally what happens is when a couple fights in front of you, they like to bring in other people oh well so and so said this well yeah yes <laughs> what <laughs> HTV was what i was thinking of immediately oh myself. yes but so and so said this or like mm-hmm. you know they try to get people on their side it's like i don't want to come i don't want to no, be no, no, involved no, no, in no, your no. shit please no, leave no. me out of it and especially if it's a married couple like if you're fighting in front of people you need to go to counseling because what you're trying to do is be like you need other people to meet like to hear what the fight is so that do you know what I mean? You can make so the that other you can, person look bad. Whatever or it like is, what? because you just feel like, you know, sometimes you feel like when you're fighting with your husband, like if there's no referee around, some mean shit gets said. You know, oh. if there's not somebody to like, you know, not mean, oh, yeah, mean but like that. Yeah. below the belt stuff where you're like, if somebody was here listening, they would fucking tell you to fuck off. Do you sure, know what I yeah. mean? But no one's here. So. How about when we're in front of our friends, you can all just provoke you. So you say something and then they can like be on my side. Yeah. I don't know. Go oh, to yeah. No. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it gets real. It gets real hairy sometimes when you're fighting alone. Yeah. With you your shouldn't husband. need a mediator. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. And if you do go see one. Well, that's, that's what I'm fine. But yeah. 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 But I'm saying all the time. Don't pay someone. Don't have your friends do it. That's oh, all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It should, yeah. Don't make your friends your fucking But counselors. eventually it needs to get to the point where it's healthy. Yeah. Where you guys can both talk about. I mean, there's always going to be. I mean, there's always going to be things said below the belt sometimes out of anger, which need to be apologized yeah. for. But it should never be like <laughs> always out of control every single time. That's when. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah that's when it's good. like a bad thing. That's yeah. the media. Yeah, yeah. That media is good. Um, so. so let's get into some sponsors and then we'll t- um, do a couple questions. Yeah, we'll do like fast pace. Okay. Oh, lightning round. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. All right. And you guys can answer them with us too. There you go. Answer along at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, first up, we have ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. You know it. You love it. You're probably going to be comfy and cozy on one tonight if you know mm-hmm. what's good for you because I am. I might go to bed at, mm, I don't know, 730. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to be so nice. I'm totally going to bed early tonight. So early. Even if I just sit in bed and like look on my phone, Correct. I'm going to bed. I'm sitting in my ghost bed. Right now they're doing 25% off plus two free pillows still. Um, I'm guessing they're going to do it. Uh, they're just keep extending it each day into the quarantine. So if you can jump on it, if you want to jump on it, I would. 25% mm-hmm. off is a really, really good deal. And it you is. could do 36-month pay-as-you-go program and not have a big lump sum out of pocket. <clears throat> just pay it over the course of a couple months. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Next up, we have strikeforceenergy.com. I'm probably going to take some on the way home. Going to have to. Yeah. Promo code LADYBONER for 20% off. You guys know Strike Force is liquid energy with no sugar, no mm-hmm. gluten. It's the best no you can calories. get. No calories. Yeah. Because when, when it doesn't have all those extra preservatives and junk in it, there's no crash. Yeah. It literally is just a sustained, if you take like a whole packet, do you put it, you put them in the big jug, right? I so do. It kind of like, yeah. So it spreads it out. Yeah. Like I like, I like my water have a little bit of flavor and a yeah, little yeah. bit of energy and stuff yep. like that. Yeah. But you can put them in anything. You can put them in some white cloth, some truly and, um, day drink all day. Yeah. And for our essential workers, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like keeps nurses, you up, keeps you going. Yes. Like, um, our postal people, you know what I mean? Truck drivers, like yeah. these are the things that are going to help sustain you throughout the day when you're feeling really yeah. tired. So, and also if you're just home and you're feeling a little depressed, take some, 
clean up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. You want to clean Get your- a little pep in your step. Strikeforceenergy.com, promo code LADYBONER, 20% off. Next up, we have a new sponsor, Ooh, but girl. we are so excited. We love Sun Basket. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you guys, probably everyone at some point has tried some type of food some delivery type of, service. Yeah, like meal kit, right? Where yeah. you're cooking, you're cooking, it's not a microwavable thing, but it no. just brings you, it just has all of the ingredients perfectly portioned out for I you. I love that. This I love because I like to cook, but I go to the store, I get stuff, and I actually right now have in my crisper like the leftover celery that I didn't use, the leftover tomatoes, and they're just going to rot in there because they're not enough for the next meal, Correct. but they were too much for the meal that I was making every single time. I do that too. But also I'm not as creative when it comes to cooking. So when I have a recipe sitting in front of me, I'm like, this is great. Why haven't, why haven't I thought about this? Right. <laughs> then you can feel like you can tell your friends, like I made, oh yeah, last night we just had like roasted salmon with a miso glazed eggplant. And no you're like, deal. what? <laughs> and like, when you take the picture of my friend, did sun basket like, who it's, is this bougie bitch exactly my friend is did sun basket way way long before you even got this um sponsor and she would take pictures of her dinner and i'm like holy Ooh, shit like yeah. this girl is like a fucking gourmet chef for her family like like oh my god your kids are having salmon and steak and yeah. it's just like it is picture perfect once you put it on the plate perfect portions and too like sun basket yep. dude and i'm like you um you can choose your size like for the size of your family yep. if it's just you it's perfect for right now because they do uh any kind of dietary restriction that you're that's doing major. right now right you, have, you know gluten-free paleo vegetarian yeah. yeah anything you're trying to do plant-based all of this so go to sunbasket.com slash drinkin d-r-i-n k-i-n just like our show drinking to get 35 dollars off your order that's That's fucking huge that's really good yeah it's really good and this company is awesome they have it's all organic produce clean ingredients and you can have a picture perfect meal that you cooked for your family yeah in like 15 to 20 minutes because t- everything's portioned out and everything yeah. just is easy. I know before I even did anything like this, I was like, is this really like as mm-hmm. awesome as it is? Listen, just try it, it once with our promo code. <laughs> yeah. $35 off, which is a steal. Mm-hmm. And you'll see for yourself, you'll be like, this was really easy. Yeah. I have nothing's wasted. Perfect portions. This was delicious. And I have a feeling you might come back. So yeah, I, um, I did the spicy Jamaican black bean tacos and anything tacos is for chris right tacos and burgers and they were like picture perfect yes next time i make it i'm gonna make i'm gonna take a picture of it but yeah. um and i also had the fresh fusilli with charred artichokes and feta amazing and that's just like a couple of their they have so many recipes yeah. to choose from so go to sunbasket.com slash drinking Where's my shit? Yep. Where's my shit? Yeah. Uh, prom- no, go put promo code DRINKIN, D-R-I-N-K-I-N, for $35 off. This is huge. Try it. Take pictures. Send us your amazing, sh- perfectly chef-prepared meals. Um, Let's get into some lightning round, yeah. shall we? I think this will be fun. Okay. Let's um, do it. get to know each other a little bit better. You guys get to know us better. There you go. And uh, yeah. Okay. Right now. Favorite color. Oh, blue. Me too. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Did we just become best friends? I think um, we did. <laughs> when I was younger, I was so anti-pink. Yeah. Oh, it is. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so I was the blue girl. Oh, you know, you're like, like, I don't want pink. Yeah. Dude. You know how little girls are like oh, pink or purple? I was yeah. like, blue, bitch. Blue. And it's a stuck. Neither. Love you know it. What I mean? Yeah. Love to hear it. But favorite color to wear, though. Ooh, uh, a green. Same. I think that olive actually. I'm not. I'm not doing a shameless plug, but the olive that we have for that one shirt. I know. It makes looks great. Both of our eyes look amazing. Yes. With your skin tone too. That, like, yeah. And my eyes. Anything yeah. green pops out my eyes. Green. Okay. If you had any superpower, what would it be? Um, endless 
energy what what was that limitless i would have like the power to just like not have to sleep and just be be able to fucking go 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 all the time that makes sense right i think mine would be flying flying yeah i mean i skydive all the time up or close to the ground no like superman fly oh super like i just want to fly wherever the fuck i want like (laughs) i don't know it's i think i feel like it's a skydiver in me you know what I mean? This is once to be like, like not even worried about it. You're just like I've had dreams yeah, before yeah. where I'm trying, like I'm running and hell trying yeah. to fly. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, favorite movie of all time? Mm. It's either American Beauty or oh my God. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Oh shit! I think uh, I don't. Uh, that's the weird part is I really don't feel like I have one, but I've always loved. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I've always loved The Notebook. Notebook's good. Like it's just it one doesn't of those have love to be stories. a good movie, right? It's just yeah. whatever it makes you feel. A movie that you can or Vanilla it, Sky. It, Damn it. it always makes me feel like loved and like there's hope, and I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. And at the end, I always end up being like, oh my god, they like died together. Like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's just one of those. Yeah, but a then of course I love military movies like all the time, Saving Private Ryan and stuff like that. Like, so good. Or I mean, even the TV show series Band of Brothers. I was like, oh, so good. Dude, I fucking loved Band of Brothers. I know me too. Band of Hotties. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you sounded like such a college girl. I like Band of Hotties. Band of Daddies. <laughs> they were older, huh? No, there were some younger ones. Right? Yeah, there were some younger yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. But there was a lot of great guys in that. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. Um, if you could have any additional talent, what would it be? Mm. Music. It would be like a Same. instrument for sure. I, yeah. I would want to I would want to. I just want to be musically inclined. Yes. Like anything that I touch, including singing. Yes. Have you seen the show Songland? No, but <gasps> I've heard it's like the best. It's so fucking good. Chris and I love it. And we were so Who's impressed. Who's your favorite judge? Um, you know. Is I've, it Tedder? I love Ryan Tedder because I've obsessed with One Republic, but he's kind of cocky. Is he? Love yeah. So it. I like. Um, he should. Yeah. He should be. I mean, for he's songwriting, he's very he fucking be. hot. He's written he's like really every good song at what he does. you've ever heard ever. And I love One Republic. Like One Republic's one of the only bands that when I download, like when I like a song, I download the entire album because I love every song. Yeah. Um, but who's the? Uh, I've been trying to think of his name. The gay, like, country guy. I love... Gay him. country guy? Yeah, he was Is on he that show. Is he actually gay? Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Gay... I'm going to look him up now. On... Are you song- putting in gay country guy? Yeah. I mean, joking. I actually love all the, <laughs> the judges. Shane. Shane. I think Shane's, like, one of the sweetest, most down the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guys on there. Um, anyway, I love them all. So I see that show. Chris and I watch it, and we go, oh, my God, if only... We could be like that. Yeah. Have, like an ounce of have yeah. an ounce of that talent. Yeah. No, um, that's crazy. Like, I know. Taylor Swift, like love her or hate her, but I'm just like, damn, like how does she just fucking. Right? With everything. I don't know. Singer, songwriter, musician, like all of it, bring it to me. Fashion, like, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. Have you ever faked an orgasm? <laughs> this week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, not this week, no. <laughs> um yeah i mean yeah i have but actually i rarely have because i'm very yeah. like uh, there was only one guy and it was kind of we were really like we were friends and we kind of like flirted for a while and then when bad time we had sex it was really awkward yeah and he like kept wanting to get me off and, and so just like, and so not. i like purposely got off to end sex early yeah like faking it mm-hmm and he wouldn't stop, so I like I faked six of them, and he was like, "Oh my god, that was like amazing." I was like, "That was terrible." Ugh. You know what I mean? It was yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. yeah. I, so I thought faking one would get me out of it sooner, and it didn't. It usually does. <laughs> They're not. I know. So I was like, okay, yeah. But I feel like guys would know, right? That no. we're faking it. Like we our kiggles and everything tighten. Oh, no. Chris always knows when I'm about to. So yeah, yeah. So I feel like he would know yeah, if when I you're was with it. like your person you know like your husband i think but in your lifetime of hooking up with people yeah 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 okay what would you do with one million dollars one million dollars i would buy a ranch i know i think i would just like buy a ranch i'm watching yellowstone right now what can i say i would just horses everything (laughs) yeah i think chris 100 percent would want land yeah and horses i think right now that's the biggest wealth like that I can think of is yeah. like 
having land like things sound things seem so fucking crazy right and people are building condos on fucking every strip and if you have like a good portion of land somewhere like you are rich as shit yeah you are same and that's what chris has always wanted was land land and he eventually wants to have like courses and stuff you know yep and just like texas have a house that you don't pay for let's do it yeah right you know what i mean like bills Mm -hmm. paid off that was like yeah most yeah. comfortable thing would you i always think about this it's an interesting fact like you know when you hear about celebrities houses being like 12 million dollars yes. you're like i like, mean you don't just pay that that's why i'm wondering like do you guys pay i that always wonder sum? chrissy teigen is fucking stupid and horrible she is did kind of say like no we get mortgages like just so you know like celebrities get fucking mortgages like, like everyone we're not, else like everyone else we're not throwing well, down 12 million like, part of me then would be like if i had that much money i would just live smartly and buy a fucking house that's already paid totally off totally paid off even if it's a million instead of like, like have something with million dollar 15 home. fucking rooms i only use two of them you know what i mean? actually like i just yeah. don't get it i mean i know they have staff and everything to clean but it's like what because of status i just i mean i would just that's what i mean part of me would be like if i have a million dollars i'm gonna buy like get what we need i hate like unused rooms Same. just in general like i Same. i would rather have just like a cottage or a small house that you like use literally every single room all the time yeah maybe there's one room that's like oh we mocked, a watch movie room. a special room yeah but that's it like closets that's like, how our everything. house always was every room everything was every used. room is being used whether yeah. it's with a kid a thing or whatever like an office i don't know but like because it's this idea space yeah for. this idea of like you literally have three other people's full houses inside your house and how often are you really not there even using using it as a celebrity and it's usually ugly <laughs> some of them are some of them are fucking remember when they did mtv cribs mtv cribs back in the day some of them i was like oh a lot of them that's like why just because you have money doesn't like mean really you have gaudy and like taste <laughs> yeah uh favorite kind of music kind of music i guess like a genre if you had to pick like your fave if i had to pick a fave it would probably be a like indie rock or pop like i think mine's like rock indie rock not rap no oh i hate no really no i mean i don't mind like rap but i don't yeah. like rap nowadays as much okay and I grew up liking it, but I, that's why I told you in St. Louis, we had either a rock station or a rap station. Oh, it was yeah, rock yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. It's like rock, like all rock genres, then probably pop and then rap. Okay. And then at the very below, it's like country. Do you remember this time back in the day? I don't know if you had it, but like it was the answer was anything but country. Yeah. It still is today. Right? I feel like that's still a thing. What kind of music do you like? Anything, Anything but country. country. And you're like, okay, but what about this song? Because that's fucking country. And I bet you fucking slap to yeah. it, dude. <laughs> like, what about I don't death know, metal? But I remember in like, I think it was like I mean? high like, school or something where that was like the answer. Yeah. Anything but country. I think country. it's an answer on dating apps and shit. Like, I, music. Anything but country. <laughs> I used to say it. All day, oh, I, used I to totally say it used to say it. I didn't even know what I was saying. Well, because I didn't like country. As because much. country had a different connotation back in the day, but like I it was well, so country hilarious. was very like twangy. Now right? it's like, it like I would be the- like country all the way. Well, to me, I was so like not into my feelings, and I wanted to be anti feelings. And country to me was so into your feelings. Yeah, and that's why I would always make fun of it. I'd be like, they're either singing about tra- sexy tractors or like someone died or yeah, I lost the, the love died. of my life or yeah. something like that. And to me, I was just like, I can't. Yeah, but that was also like young. Like Tiffany, that was like, oh my God. Oh no, it was like, I think about it all the time that everyone would say that. Like anytime you asked a girl or anyone like what their favorite type of music, anything but, (laughs) I like every, because that made you seem like you're down with whatever. So you're like, I like everything except for country. And then the minute they put on like death metal or anything else, you're like, I don't like this song. Ew. Yeah. (laughs) No, I don't like that. Uh, uh, Yeah. Yeah. Um, First celebrity crush. Mm. Do you remember that? Mm-mm-mm. Brendan Fraser. Really? To this day, but yeah. Have you seen him? Yeah, and I love it. You know I'm a chubby chaser. Oh, okay. Um, I yeah, saw like an older, bigger guy. A TikTok of him where they did like before and afters, and like all the picture they showed of after was like, Ooh. oh yeah, oh yeah. But hey, 
Uh, I'm with it. You know, like once you love somebody, like it's almost like I've grown old with him. Yeah. Because we've been together all this time. (laughs) And so I'm just like, I just love you. Like, I just think you're awesome. He was in a lot of movies back in the day when I think about it. Oh, God. He was like the cute, honky one. Yeah. It's kind of like funny. So Star Ties is, I don't know if you ever had, like, your first crush is someone that you like almost think that you could be with. Yeah. Because you're that age and you like, you're like, well, I could like meet him maybe someday. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's like the first oh, yeah. crush of actually being like, I mean, you're dreaming that you're actually like, you're in a relationship with that. Oh, well, mine. Yeah. Cause mine was Zach from Saved by the Bell. Yeah. So you were like fully like if I, if he was ever like in town, and I was I like, could, listen, like, I could meet him. He I look would, like Kelly and her name's Tiffany in real life. So. And he would <laughs> like me and we would be able to just like talk and like he would just fall in love with me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you realize later that crushes are just like literally so from afar like it's just a crush that you're never ever and if you do meet him there's going to be a million people around Correct. that like whatever. then reality sets in but you're young so you don't think of those things yeah you know what i think is weird uh jumping on this a little is people that end up like let's say Haley bieber mm-hmm. was a huge fan of justin bieber and like met him as a kid and like gave him like she something did. to sign did she yeah and uh-huh. now they're married there's a lot of people that have that, like when there's like, you know. Do you think that's weird? I think it's weird, I isn't think it's it? Weird. Because you're just like, someone was. I think it's weird someone only because like, like can you imagine you? sitting there and like watching, you know, Brendan Fraser or uh, Zach and being like, oh my gosh, and then growing up and like marrying, marrying him. him. That's crazy. I mean, good on her though. For sure. Look, fucking dreams Look, come true. I mean, she's, that's like she's movie fine. shit right yeah, there. Yeah. She's fine. She made her own way before they got together. Yeah. But they showed this video of her as a little kid walking up and he younger. She looked way younger, by the way. She's not. But like yeah. she walked up and he like signed something. He was like, oh, thanks. And like, oh, my God, that's weird. It's weird, right? Now. Yeah. But anyway. But now I'm sure sitting in the house going like, oh, my God, remember that time that yeah. I. Like- but like, wouldn't you also be like this person has like been. You would almost feel like you had like the way upper hand. Mm-hmm. Someone has been a fan of you. Yeah. You can their whole get, life. Get away with fucking murder. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Just <laughs> saying. So I think it's fucking weird. Uh, what is the strangest pur- purchase you ever made or almost made on Amazon? Oh, shit. Um, do you have one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's what? <laughs> what? Seriously. There's this. Um, you know, like dip for like sauces for like Chick-fil-A? Yeah. There's this little dip container thing, right? Uh-huh. That you put into your um, your vents in your car. Like it sticks okay. in there. And so when you get chip, like <laughs> French fries or chicken That's from fucking Chick-fil-A, genius. you put your dip in there. It doesn't fall over the place. That's it's on your lap and you dip it in there and it is <laughs> I almost bought it. I, I, and I think I'm still that. going to buy it. I think I'm still going to. I think you should. Even though. If I went into your car and I'm like, what is what that? Fuck is and you're that? like, it's my dip holder. It's a dip holder. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't believe you. You don't seem like. I you saw like, it and I was like, like, I think I'm going to get this. This is really stupid. It's not essential. And I'm like, I think I'm going to get it. So. Oh, you have to get it. I know. It. I can't I saw, beat I was that. Like, I can't beat that. Even though it might not be used as much, I feel like it's very vital. For me to have a very no, good it's one sauce of those things. transfer to French fry to my mouth. It's one of those things I that know. like always sucks. You don't do it that often. Correct. But it always sucks every time you I do, know. right? And you're like, man, if there was just something. And there's just that. a thing. <laughs> oh my God. That's like a Shark Tank thing, I right? know. Oh, did I tell you I jewel now? <laughs> what? Yeah. I don't know how to feel about that. I know. Me neither. <laughs> I'm on the verge of a breakdown. Jeweling mm-hmm. was um, associated probably within the last year of like, oh, what a douche they jewel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Having a breakdown. No, uh, because you Tara know I like jewel, to. Tara jewels, not, not jewels, but like vapes. So we'll be on the phone or like FaceTime and you hear. <laughs> right but now. Is it like a big vape thing? Like No, the, it's like the same thing. It's a little thing. Yeah. 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 So it's just like. So, so I'm used been, to it now. Yeah. I've been in the quarantine like sneaking out to have a little sig mm-hmm. and i just fucking hate the smell oh I hate yeah everything i hate how it makes me feel i'm sure this isn't that much better but at least i get a little 
you're like okay at least it's something something and i'm not reeking like <laughs> ross is like disgusting i'm like you gotta give it to me yeah it's my one joy let in me, life like, right let now me, this is the only thing keeping the me only sane, thing so keep you're it. welcome yeah or else i'm gonna sit outside and smoke and drink all day but go yeah. on what's next <laughs> which is totally fine which is totally fine do you sleep with your eyes closed or shut what that's a th- oh closed or shut do you know if you are a sleeper with your eyes open some people sleep with their fucking eyes half open or eyes open terrorists what do you mean my, i think i don't know if she does anymore but my little sister when my mom would pick us up from school like middle school my sister would be like asleep and her eyes would be like half open we would be like doing shit in front of her face oh like it the was half creepy open thing? like the half open i don't think i have I, no I don't think idea wide but open but i don't think so i mean obviously i sleep with mine shut right do yeah. you know for a fact yeah chris would tell me oh okay he would fucking be like I don't think he would marry me. <laughs> oh, dude. Right? Uh-huh. Can you imagine waking up to your significant other and their eyes are like half open or open staring at you? <sighs> nope. No, no, no. We'll not do it. Um, well, we already did this one. What, what celebrity opponent would you want to be in a death match with? <laughs> yeah. Tracy Teagan. For sure. Uh-huh. Yep. She can come for me and I will stand by my fucking comments. Yeah. <laughs> what, I She's even, the what's worst. Her, what's that fucking bitch's name? Allison Roman. She's no, weenie. my chick. Oh, the one that what? I can't. I can't stand. I don't even like saying her name. From what? Avengers. Oh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, Scarlett Sorry. Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a weird one. But it's I, a weird one. I back. I just it. don't. I support you for I'm sure. Still. I'm gonna not like her now too. <laughs> I have to. And I won't like Chrissy. I have to. Now I don't too. like who you who you don't Same. like. <laughs> Well, you were here. There was no, that never was not much convincing for me not to like Chrissy Teigen. And yeah, that yeah. just already. The death thing. Oh, I hate her now. Can't do it. What song is guaranteed to make you cry? Or I guess at least get close to crying each time you hear it? Mm, maybe Wild Horses. Oh, I'll never know. The Rolling Stones. Wild oh. Horses couldn't drag me away. Oh, I probably have heard that. You've definitely heard it. Yeah. Um, There's maybe one more. Do you have one? Get it. um fix you by coldplay oh my god every time that was like my every turning, time that was my turning point song what do you mean turning so point? that it was i was in the mix between college right like i had not gone to i took myself out of college after that first year oh that's right. and i was trying to decide whether i want you know i didn't know what i wanted to do with the next chapter in my life and i worked out at the track like every day for a few hours and just it was like my mental it helped my mental health yeah and it started raining one day and i felt so lost and that song came on on my iPod shuffle and I fucking just started crying. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why I didn't even think tears of that. Tears literally were streaming down oh. my face. I was like, I got to do something with my life. Literally the week later, my buddy told me about the Air Force and there it was. So that's like still my song. Love it. You know what I mean? You're that's like, I won't listen to it right. purposely, but I think it was after the miscarriage when I was like running and trying to like get back in shape oh and gosh. lose like the little and it came- belly and it came on. I was like, no. No, you, you need know to I take mean? that off. You need to take that off the shuffle. Oh, but you know what? I'm the type of person where I don't cry. So the time that I do, it's, it's like, like, just let it out. It girl. all goes. Yeah, just yeah, Just yeah. let it the fuck yeah, out. Yeah. So yeah, that's mine. It's a good one, right? That is exactly right. I think. It gives me goosebumps when I hear it too. I yeah. It. Ross and I, I think have gotten back together. Mm. A From couple that song. times because of that. Really? Right? Yeah. Because it's very like. Yep. Yep. Because I was a mess. That's a good one. Oh, Can you that, believe that? Just my soul. Yeah. I mean, we've all been there. Right? I was one that was actually the mess. <laughs> we've like, all been there. Okay. We got to take turns, you know? Got to take turns. It's very normal. Uh, what's the worst thing you've ever eaten before? The worst thing I've ever eaten yeah, is like a little like sausage with pineapple and like barbecue sauce thingy. What? From like uh, Domino's? No, oh. it's like a thing that like people make at like parties or something i just remember it very vividly i did i can't even really explain it but when you said that that's all i thought was like i was at a party one time and like you know like potluck thing and everybody brings their stuff and it was like like it's sort of like a hawaiian sausage so that's what i'm gonna ask next are you a pineapple on pizza person um i don't mind that i don't mind i don't love it but I'm not going to fucking It's not my puke. favorite, but I, I mean, I love any pizza, so I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to throw pizza out of bed ever. Correct. Um, and I will eat it in bed. I will, yeah. I'll <laughs> eat it <laughs> no anywhere. No problemo. That's, yeah, that's weird. I guess, yeah. That was just first thing that came to sure. mind. I'm sure there's no, all that's kinds good. of other ones, but yeah. what about you? Banana slug. <laughs> I mean, that's easy. <laughs> of course yours is like, my next. 
Uh, rabbit eyeball. Uh, yeah. yeah. No big deal. No, I would rather eat a rabbit eyeball than a fucking banana slug. Oh my God. All day long. Yeah. Uh, something that everyone look. What is something that you think everyone does that then they look stupid doing? Something that everyone does, like and they, everyone does it, no matter what it is, you look stupid doing. In to in your opinion. In my opinion, I have one that I always thought was so doing. stupid. Do it. You go. Because I was a track runner. Uh huh. So when people would do like the um, the fast paced walking. Right. Oh, it was, oh, it was yeah, like a yeah, fucking yeah. event. And yeah, like, yeah, that's good. Like that's no matter good. what, they just be bopping back and forth. It was awkward. That's and I'm good. Like, that's weird. No matter how sexy you look, you're gonna look stupid doing that. That's good. Um, I think a boomerang cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Every like just single. a cheers or a faces. Um, I love that you said that. That's Either. The faces in there or just the, like, glasses? By the way, next time we go Every out. Every single time. I'm going to make sure we do a boomerang. Cheers. I think we have to. <laughs> and even on, yeah. I think we have to. Just to be, yeah. And we'll just be like, boomerang. We'll make, like, a big deal about, like, <laughs> we boomeranged. Or the boomerang mirror selfies where it's like. Yes, yes. Uh, any, any boomerang I did thing. Oh, yeah. Back, look. like, two, what, two, three years ago when the boomerang was, like, exactly. hot? Exactly. I totally did it. And exactly. now, I actually thought about it the other day because I was like. I haven't seen anyone boomerang in a long time. Oh, they're boomeranging. Are they? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't see it. It's gone. It's infiltrated the mom group now. So like, it's always like, it's like trending. So it's moms like, are like, it's a little annoying. It's over. Now the moms do it. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like people are annoyed by it. Nobody wants to see it anymore. So what moms are moms are gonna start boomeranging? Like cheersing their wine glass with their kids sippy cup or something? Like, no, if they go out. Oh. Uh, if they get out of the house. Oh, it's like, Mom. there's like. I, I always say like <laughs> when I see like my friends getting ready to go out or whatever I'm like get ready for fucking 20 boomerangs <laughs> like it's gonna be bink 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 and then they have to do another one and then in the bathroom like so over the top, and then yeah. I think yeah or like they do like the kid yeah oh my god that's- we get once we get out of the house it's like we have to do all the things because we're not gonna be out again for another month yeah so I, yeah that is pretty stupid <laughs> we need to dance we need to like do whatever anyway everything I'm guilty of it uh yeah i've done it too toilet paper over or under over yeah okay i feel like you're a terrorist if it's under yeah i know some people are like well if you have a cat i know well that's your number one problem okay no, yeah exactly get rid of the fucking cat because you're a loser <laughs> no <I'm> joking <laughs> uh but yeah that's i mean it doesn't make any sense for me underneath i'm it, like i hate it i, I always feel like I i'm trying to not, mess with it is it a right or left thing because like, you want to be going yeah i want to like bring it down yeah, and yeah, roll yeah. it in my hand yeah i don't know it's weird <laughs> Uh, do you squeeze the squeeze the toothpaste from like? Are you a bottom squeezer or do you just like squeeze it? Uh, I just like squeeze it. Do you? You're mm-hmm. a squeezer. Oh, so I'm Chris. like a not whatever the opposite of OCD is. Yeah, that's yeah, me. Yeah, I will always like not not so OCD where I have to have like one of those things. Yeah, but I won't just but like yeah. squeeze it. I'll like kind of you know squeeze it from the bottom. Yeah. Most people do. Most yeah. people do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you get in a shower, what's the first thing you wash? Hair. Me too. Yeah. Like immediately. Immediately, because then it gets your like fingernails, your hands. Yep. Everything. I think and it's then you can like go from there. I feel like it'd be a hundred percent different for guys for some reason. 100%. I feel like they're in the shower like fucking around for like just standing there for a while. Dude, do you know what I mean like not even I doing anything? In, I walk into the shower with Ross many times, and I'm just like, "What are you doing?" Dude, are you on? Are you done being on vacation? I mean, they're just like. That's what I mean. I like, walk. Bro, we're I getting like, ready for work. I dude. feel like Chris is always like rinsing his back or just like chilling. He's like, "This is my time to think." I'm like, <laughs> "This is fucking hot water time," and we're actually going to like we have to go. Like, do does you know what I mean? Ross take hotter showers than you? No, he's oh. a, he's a little baby. Oh, really? Because Chris actually takes hotter showers than me sometimes. That's usually the case. Oh, where normally, like the girl gets in and they're like, "Oh, dang!" Like, oh, see, normally I always hear it's the opposite. Like women take like super hot showers. Really? Yeah. Our pain, our pain threshold is a lot higher. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. Like, I don't like, I don't mind it on my body, but my hair is what I'm always cautious yeah, of because yeah. I think you're supposed to use colder ish yeah. water. Yeah, so on I always wash it with super hot, and then when I'm rinsing at the very end to like close the cuticles down, I'll like turn it a little bit colder before I get out, which is like not great winter, right? But yeah, it's always good to kind of just like get rid of that like frizziness. Have you heard that thing too where you're if you put cold water on you, I don't know, it's for like a certain duration of time in the shower. Um, it's going to help you 
like your skin cells regenerate quicker or something and like help you lose weight, your metabolism, like all these crazy awesome things. But I'm like, I don't give a fuck. No, thank I'm not going to sit there freezing in an even 30 seconds of work water. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather just get fucking Botox in my uh, face. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> 30 and seconds in cold like an water? Off chance. Like if somebody told me like straight up like a doctor or it was like a widely known thing. Yeah, I don't like doing shit like that on I don't like either. one blog or like the cry- cryotherapy. Like now that, that seems I want to do that. Yeah, but that to me seems a little bit different than taking a cold ass shower. Yeah, no, that's just gonna be a like tightening, don't you think? Like yeah. if you go in there for a certain amount of time, that cold. Yeah, you don't do it on your face though, do you? No, that's your what face I is not do. in it. I don't think freeze your face. Just like totally <sighs> depuff. <laughs> oh, you know what I've been starting to do is putting um, spoons in the freezer. Ooh, that's a good and one. then um, in the morning, sometimes when my eyes are too puffy, you just press them against your eyes. I that's guess that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, weirdest thing a guest has ever done in your house. Weirdest thing a guest has ever done. Has anything ever like <sighs> weird happened in your house? I don't think so. I had. This, I don't think so. I had this girl um, come over for a like photo shoot. Mm hmm. That I was doing because I worked for like a, a leggings company at the time. Right. And I offered to like host a photo shoot. Um, and I had like mimosas for everyone. Yeah. And I made like had pastries and uh, you know what I mean? Eggs yeah. and stuff before we did the photo shoot because I figured you want to break the, you know, yeah. break the ground. Sure. And talk to people. And I guess this girl had started her period. Mm-hmm. And so she went in her guest bathroom and she was like, hey, Tiffany, like, can I borrow a tampon? I was like, oh my God, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And so I gave her a bunch. Uh-huh. And then she was like, do you have any underwear? And I was like, oh, because I guess she like had bled through hers. hers. And so I was like, yeah, sure. Like she was looking for like a thong. So I actually had had a couple of thongs yeah. that never were worn and still had Victoria's Secret tags on it. So like I was like, here, take them. Nice. And I gave her a, like a washcloth and everything. And I said, hey, just like when you're done, just like leave it in the in the shower. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I'll clean it. And uh, we got back from the photo shoot. And I went into that bathroom to, like, get the washcloth. And I was like, where the fuck is it? And then I was like, okay, well, it's gone. And then I looked down at the white mats, and there was blood. Her blood. On your mats? On, on your- my white bathroom mats. See, dude, like, I don't understand people that, like. And she didn't say anything to me. Like, you know what I mean? But have that much trouble. Like, there's toilet paper I know. that you can put places. I've I mean, put, I've the, ran toilet look, paper around my underwear. I d- I never understand someone that can't that has like that crazy of a. Do you know what I mean? But the thing is, I think I don't even know what happened. But the thing is, she was willing to ask me for underwear, tampons, and a washcloth. So why couldn't she be like, "Oh my god, I am so sorry. Like I just dropped my drawers and I got it. Like blood got on here. Like she didn't tell me." But by the way, how are you? I know. So I like I texted her after. It was like, "Hey, girl." I took a picture of it. I was like, "Why didn't you tell me this? Like, we were gone for like six, seven hours. It was soaking in the whole time. Like, you know what I mean?" And Chris was like, bleh, bleh, "Right." What'd she say, and she was like, "I was so embarrassed. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you." And I'm like, "Did you not think that I was gonna not notice?" Yeah, like who? You were the one that was asking for tampons and and underwear. I'm gonna know it's which I was like, you. "Yeah, here's like a whole packet, and here's some brand new underwear." And, and then I was like, well, what happened with the washcloth? She's like, well, I took it home to wash it myself. And I was like, this is weird. Isn't it weird? It is weird. Again, the whole like, situation's a like grown, weird. that's stuff that a like, grown woman, kids, like, you know, with, who has kids? Yeah, but like, that's something when you're like maybe 16, 17, 18, um, and having your period, like, stuff like that might happen. Yeah. But as you're, when you're a grown woman, like, we don't, normally get totally surprised by periods by the way Mm -hmm. i know around the day that it's gonna happen oh do you because i don't you never know no because mine's so irregular is it that irregular that it's like weeks apart Mm -hmm. okay sometimes it's on time and like which is surprising and then other times it's like months late that's like one of the issues for trying to get pregnant. Okay, got it, got it. And so there has been that's not don't get me wrong there has been a few times right where like i was there was been a few times where i was like at the gym and i was like it just happened. Once the front desk really quick. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I caught it. Like I felt it, and I was, and it's you fine. Feel it. And you don't. It just doesn't come out like as a flood. Yeah. And so I just asked like you have for to a tampon really quick. Yeah. And I was good until I got home. Yeah. So that's an interesting one. That was weird. That's what I'm saying. That was like yeah. The I haven't thing. had anything like, like that. Her. And if I had, it was really long time ago. And I was like, 
I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I felt bad asking her, but I also just, like, you know, and talking to her about it more because I know she was embarrassed. But at the same time, I was like, just tell me. I was like, I know you're embarrassed, but just tell me. Yeah. Like, so I can clean it? Yeah, because now. So I sanitize like, everything like, and, like, had it soaked for a few hours. <laughs> I know. It's so weird. Oh. Um, should we do whoa. one more? We'll do one more, and then we'll get Bro-ats. to the bro app. If you were on death row, mm-hmm. what would be the last meal you'd eat? Uh, bologna sandwich I on you white were. bread with mayonnaise and Kraft mac and cheese. One hundred percent person palette. white trash white person. I love my, it though. My palate. I mean, mac. I feel like you can't go wrong with Kraft mac and cheese. Kraft mac and cheese. I have not had bologna since middle school. I feel like so it'll take you right back. Will it? Oh yeah. Will it? If you liked it. If you didn't like it, then it'll puke. I really think puke. that was my thing as much. Yeah. yeah, no, it was our thing for sure. What's yours? I mean, the human in me wants pizza, but the smart person in me is I want uh, never-ending breadsticks, so I never die. Oh. You know what I mean? That's a good one. Like, you just constantly keep, like, never-ending. Like, sorry. like, sorry, I'm not never done eating. Never-ending breadsticks and Literally never mimosas. fucking ending. Bottomless mimosas. Bottomless mimosas and never-ending breadsticks. So you're constantly eating. Like, you can't kill me, bitch. Like, I am literally still eating well, my you're meal. Gonna, you're going to have death by <laughs> breadstick, which is, like, a better way to I'm go. A way better way. I'd rather way choke better. on a fucking breadstick and For try to wash sure. it down with a mimosa. So that would be my smart answer. 100%. <laughs> Love to hear My it. calculated <laughs> criminal answer. Um, who do we have for broette? Okay, so Hannah, day. Hannah O'Keefe sent um her sister in and she said hey ladies i'd like to nominate my sister anna she was born with spina bifida a birth defect in which her spine um was not properly developed at birth so most people with this diagnosis never walk and are wheelchair bound for the rest of their life she has underwent at least six spinal surgeries since she was an infant most of which occurred during her teenage years as if being a teenager teenager wasn't hard enough However, she has never let that stop her. So over the last couple of years, she's had to learn how to walk with a cane. I couldn't imagine going through the things that she has been through at such a young age of 20. Yet she does it with a smile on her face. She's beautiful inside and out and has taught me more than I could ever imagine. She is truly an inspiration. Oh. So I love you guys so much. You're, I listen to your guys' podcast weekly. Um, I look forward to meeting you guys at the SHOT Show next year. Hannah. Heck yeah, Hannah. So I think that's amazing. I, you know what I've always noticed? With women, like strong women like Anna, when sometimes life just hands them a situation like that, right? It's kind of like shit. Yeah. In a way, right? And they're fine. Like, I'm like, dude. They are thriving in life. They have the best attitude. Like, you know what I mean? Always right. smiling and like dealing with it where other people like we have, even I have me, to stay like, inside. problems. I can't I th- go to a restaurant. So right? I'm fucking having a breakdown and dueling. Six spinal surgeries. Spinal. Like, that's crazy. Dude. And who's still, like, driving and walking now with a cane? That's fucking amazing. That's amazing. Anna, you rock. You rock. We're losers. You're totally an inspiration. <laughs> no, but I, like, I have goosebumps because I'm like, yeah. that's such an inspiration. And yeah. I have no reason to ever really, I feel like, complain about yeah, things on that, when this chick's thriving. That's a good note to be like, we're not going to complain too much today about. Sometimes it's fun to bitch, but to be real. Sure. To be realistic, though, be like, how bad is it? How bad is my life really right now? It's not bad. You know what I mean? You're right. Could it be worse? For sure. And Anna's just like crushing it in life. Good for you, Anna. I You're love a you. true broette. Thank you, Hannah, for... Oh, Hannah, Anna. Look at that. Hannah, Anna. <laughs> so thank you so much. We love reading these out loud and just sharing these people with the world and just seeing how there's such amazing people out there especially in the midst of like sometimes hearing about shitty people it's like so good to hear about people like anna we love to hear it yeah so um all right well well go to obviously all our instagrams mm -hmm. drinking broette jesse wiseman tiffany hart check out american heart.co for Mm -hmm. Are you, I was about you're to change updating, soon. Yeah, you're updating there. What's about to change? I'm about to buy a dot com. Oh, good for you. But it is what it is now. People know it. And you're going to be yeah. updating on that Instagram of like our products and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. People are looking for it. So it'll be coming. And also, if you guys really do like us, rate and review us on iTunes. It means it the world helps. to us. It really and does help us. Check out our sponsors. Uh, just give them a little look see. At the very least, they support us. 
So if you want to support this show, then go check them out. Yeah. All right, girl. I'll well, see you later. Yeah, until next week. Bye. Bye. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't show better things to do. Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes. Yeah.